Greetings and welcome to episode 9 of my Napoleon Total War, the Oriental Campaign, Great Britain. And this, my friends, that we left the last time, where we had a little bit of few setbacks last episode, my friends, where we tried to take Fayum Oasis, but were thrown back, my friends, fierce resistance from the Mahdists. But we have not given up on taking this this garrison here on the oasis here, this beautiful pash green pash land here, just here. You've got Cai you've got some um, Cairo here in the north, which is looking to take this and solidify our hold over the entire stretch of the both sides of the Nile. It's crucial, my friends, we take as many settlements as we possibly can here and turn them into working, producing settlements for us. Because believe me, money, my friends, is a little bit tight at the moment. You can see seven six nine coming in. We've just about on our tax only. Are we just about keeping our um, armies r um, firmly going through here? And again, they're doing that. So I want to keep. I'm trying to keep a little bit of a surplus as well here, just a little bit of a slush fund, as it were, just to keep myself um, ready in case anything, any huge setbacks come our way. We don't. You, you know, might not see. And this is going to keep us going for quite a while. Eleven thousand. Hoping to build on a little bit as well. Now, my main focus, my whole focus of this episode is going to be taking Fire Mo Oasis and then making it into a production centre that's actually going to make money. At the moment it's losing money. It's losing a lot of money here. But if we take it over, once we've got the, the links with the rest of our the rest of our empire here in Africa and in Egypt, we can then hopefully turn that around and make it ours and make it productive towards our goal which is to bring down the Mahdists and ultimately the Ot Ottoman Empire but my friends that's a long way off because the Ottomans have really struck hard against our allies the Bedouin they have taken uh, Araba here they took that off the side of trade had gone from there they've also attacked or are besieging should I say uh, Mazina here in South Sinai, so that's going to be a real tough battle. We managed to pin this army here until we lost our agent. He died in heroic action trying to pin this army where it is, so only this army would be fighting. But as you can see, look at the cannon they got there. That is going to absolutely blitz you to hell. That is because they've got such powerful forces. Look at this. Even every single one of them has got a cannon. It's got a lot of cavalry. And they've got quite a lot of irregulars. They've got quite a lot of melee here. As opposed to anything else, it's the cannon are probably the things you've got to dread from them. And also, I asked for some help as well, my friends, at what I think I should do. Now, without a question, I had some real good suggestions from Thomas, who said that I should launch an attack and go for Araba using the Suez and moving my ships all around here and going to take Araba back um, from them and then giving it back to the uh, Bedouins. I'm not sure if I can do that, but I, I actually I can. I can do that. I do beg your pardon. I call something diplomacy, and I can just hand it to them, give them a, uh, give them a region, back to them, so they can take that back over. But I'm not sure if they'll be able to withstand um, um, the pressure from the Ottomans. The Ottomans, you can see, are exceptionally strong here. Um, there's a chance that once they've taken Muzina here, they're going to head for Suez. Now I do have probably my f one of my finest armies in Suez. We've got Kitchener here. <clears throat> now, if we've got to bring three full stack armies here against here, we're going to be in. It's going to hit us hard because ammunition is going to run out, and but they are not, because they are going to be able to send in three full armies here. And of course, they don't take any attrition from the desert at all, not one ounce, because of course they are born into it, my friends. They are used to it. They are conditioned to these harsh, harsh climates of the extreme heat, lack of water. But we are not, and that is why we've got to stick to roads. And I also had an excellent, excellent um, strategy from uh, Michael, who said that instead of hitting Arish and trying to hold it, that I should take set a sh set sail for Arish, land um, a force here, take Arish, and then pretty much have a scorched earth policy where I just destroy all the buildings and leave nothing, absolutely lay, lay it to waste and leave nothing for the Mardis. Now that, that's a really, really good plan. It's a, li it's a plan that I'm probably I'm going to carry out. I What I would probably do is probably land a force in Arish, take it, see what the response is. If I see troops moving in from the Ottomans, which invariably probably will happen, then I will destroy the buildings. Um, it does have a drill school here. We are able to do, and also got a fort. So in fact we would be able to hold this position for quite a while I think this fort here gives us 
a considerable defensive advantage, especially here since we we'd be bordering the Ottoman Empire for real here. We this would be sort of, you know, the longest, the sort of the tide mark of where our empire would reach. We've also got an ordnance factory here, which would give us mortars or, in our case, cannons. So we do have the capabilities here to hold out here in a reach for quite a while. So what I might do is take. Michael's plan as a basis, so I will go to a reach using Michael's tactics and strategy of pretty much taking it, hitting and running basically, so hit it, and if I see the Ottomans heading my way, strip it out, you know, burn it to the ground, and then move out by ship again, and maybe, maybe even attack one of their coastal regions, towns here, do the same thing, burn it to the ground, and move to the next one, burn it to the ground, move to the next one, and as the so forth and so forth, because most of their armies are actually down here. This is where most of their power, their military power is, in the south here, right on the tip of Africa here, the Red Sea. But our goal here is to take five Moses. That has to fall this episode, it really does, my friends. And also I am, slowly but surely, putting the course of justice here, mainly for the tax bonus. I'm also going to put one in Alexandria as well. As you can see here, we do need one here. It's quite actually cheaper, 2640. Mm, we've got a pretty good garrison here, so actually we're keeping things under control. But I will have to start stripping out men from Cairo. I cannot keep this army here indefinitely. I'm going to have to strip men out from different positions here. Um, to try and hold, as you can see here, we've barely got, we've barely got control here. We really have even exempted from tax. Goes down to five, but still. I'm not really keen to do that, and as you can see here, we're not really making very much money from these positions at all. In fact, we're losing an absolute ton of money um, because of um, the need to hold down so many troops into these areas. They're just not high production value areas at all. So that's why we need to keep constantly taking. I could actually push that out. That uh, this this here. That would give me chance here. I wonder if I can move. Actually, that's under control. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to push this fleet out of here. I'm going to pull them out of there. We're going to push that fleet out of there. It's going to give us a bit of space. We're going to hold the Suez here. If I have to pull out the Suez, that is what I'll do. If I see these armies coming this way, but I will burn the Suez to the ground. I will destroy Ev. I'll destroy the courts of justice here. Um, they got a f look at that small star for eight thousand. But I'm going to take fire Moises, But I've also got to start looking at how I'm going to actually. Let's start. Let's start spreading these gentlemen around here. They're no good to me stuck in any like any university somewhere. I need to have my spies and my eyes and ears all over the place here. And then I'm going to try and take this. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to wait for them to come out to us. We need to... Ooh, look at that. They've got that firmly to control there. So we're going to be n very unwelcome here indeed. What are we going to get? We're going to get Stud Farm. Um, plus 100 more wealth. So that's going to be pretty good for us. We can't upgrade any of these buildings, unfortunately. They're pretty happy with us here, actually. We are pretty well liked in Khartoum. We've got an ally, uh, one of our allies, or our Bedouin allies here. <coughs> they've not really done anything either. And then they've got this territory down here. There's nothing to defend it. This is their large army, which is under attack at the moment. But this is my goal here, is Fayum. I could even then going to start pulling men from different cities here. Maybe even, you know, pulling, getting some more, recruiting some more men. And we're going to go for Arish, hopefully by boat. If I can push these Mardis out here by boat, or even if they, if the Mardis fall here, then there'll be the end of them. There'll be nothing left of them at all. And that way, these will disappear, and that means they'll give us all of this territory, but by damn, that's going to be a tough hold. But I will initially go in with Michael's strategy of burning it to the ground, but if I can see an opportunity to hold it, and I maybe even, you know, expand and move out to Gaza, then that's what I'll do. But initially, I'm going to burn it to the ground. Anyway, friends, let's end this turn here. Let's see what happens. If it comes our way, Ottomans, gain Moving troops. Now, yeah, moving to Jerusalem here. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I was going to try and take Latakia here from Syrian coast, but unfortunately didn't pan out for us at all. 
we weren't able to take it because our navy was intercepted with a load of troops on it. Oh dear. Oh dear, look at that. Wow. Right. Hellbound here. We're going to try and hold up. We're going to try and hold up some of these armies here. We've got to try and keep them in place for as long as possible, but they did. We were in quite a battle there. They didn't seem to lose many troops, but by damn, they, the Bedouins have been absolutely hit for six here. But mind you, three full stack armies like that, that's going to be a tough fight for anyone. And it's going to be one more turn, so they've got to come out to us. Otherwise, they surrender it, and it's hours without a fight. Gentlemen under siege. Oh, look at that, we can't. I wish we could have, but unfortunately not. So we maintain our siege. We've got one breach. Target maintain the siege. siege look at this here once again <clears throat> they are continually building here without my permission 12133 okay 757 has dropped a little bit here the tax income but I've got to maintain a good surplus here mainly to build troops and also to keep our economy afloat should things not go our way a quick turn around here my friends that's right just push them out that's it. Oh, ho, ho, here we go. Right. Let's see if we can finally, finally, finally push them away. Let's take this fight. On a Fayum Oasis on the plains here. The attacker, Zarudin Rostam, defender Merlin Rose. Indeed, my friends, we shall hold this position here and we shall destroy them utterly. But as Michael said, my strategy wasn't wasn't really that good last time in terms of how I distributed my forces. I didn't have any reserves. So I'm going to try and keep some reserves in place so that I could maneuver them into position to ha protect my flanks. My flank was compromised, the left flank was compromised. They enabled them to send in a camel um, regiment which pretty much shattered my left flank and the, the, f the, the whole line was pretty much rolled up from the left hand left flank and it was rolled up you know, and I it's pretty much disintegrated. But we did do a lot of damage before we were before we would we sort of ran with a ta our tail between our legs. Um, so I'm hoping these have taken a little bit of a beating. They've re replenished, but there are less of them. And they're mostly mob. We're going to keep an eye on where that camel is. As you can see, we've got a breach here, and I tried to use the cover here to my advantage. It didn't work. So I have the. 8th regiment here which is my elite regiment what I'm going to do where's my general there he is he's not really going to be doing much he has got any special abilities so there's not really a point but I'm going to try and keep I'm going to keep him in reserve I'm going to keep the 32nd in reserve and we are going to face these gentlemen straight from the off here this time though we're going to be prepared We're going to just, just spread them out a little bit out of our forces here. Just making sure we got every base covered. Yes, Gentlemen, please. Yes, Thanking you. And we're going to have a, two reserves. We're going to have a reserve General on this flank here so I can move them into position. Yes, Actually, General put them closer Charles, because they're probably going to be used straight away. And we've got another reserve here. I can shift them on the flanks depending where they need to be. I'm going to take Michael's advice and we're going to be more forward as well here. We're going to be up in the front lines much, much quicker. I'm going to have to direct my men to, f to f sort of fight. We're all going to be on auto guard mode. <coughs> Let's begin this battle and hopefully this battle will be the deciding battle. Holy smokes. Lads.
firing on them lads. Recruit! They've gone. Now we've blitzed them. Now we're going to destroy, utterly destroy them. Yes, that's the way to do it. Look at that. Beautiful. Our advice was perfect there, Michael McFaynes. Beautiful advice there. We managed to hold. We lost the regiment here. Yes, look at that. Swift and victorious. Beautiful. Now we've finally taken... Fayum Oasis. This could be the absolute. Let's have a quick look here. Look at that. Sudan fella, 58 kills. Beautiful combination here. Yes, it's our. Ooh, but they don't like that. It seems to have spurred the Ottomans into action. Here they come. I absolutely knew it. I knew it. I mean, well, knew it. I knew they would come for us that way. They're going to hit the Suez Canal. Oh, we shall peacefully occupy. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much, good sir. And I think we'll have that back. Thank you very much. There it is. Right, we're going to have... Ooh, that's a big chunk of money right there. But these things have to be done. 2,000. Actually, I don't really need the star port. I st star port, I don't think, here. That is going to be taken. No, 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 no. no. That's going to be taken down. That's going to be destroyed. There's no point having the star port on here. There's nothing, there's no real threat to us here. These gentlemen will replenish, but we do have the Ottomans moving in, as I suspected. Jeepers creepers, that is a ton of troops, and we are not going to hold the Suez at all. But I've got to try and delay them as long as I can here. we did some damage to the we have to move reinforcements into this area for absolute definite otherwise they're going to steamroll us here they are going to absolutely steamroll us so we are going to begin horse artillery That is something we definitely need to do here. And we're going to zag it. No, actually, we can reduce our men here. And we can't. We've got to. From Zagazig is going to produce. Damn, we haven't got many facilities to produce. Suda, Suda fella. Actually, that's what they would get there. No, they wouldn't. They'd get there quite a long time. We don't have any production facilities in here which wish to, to do that. I cannot leave those alone to fight. That's four. Whether they would make it in time, I'm not sure, but I'm going to build them anyway. And what I will do is I'll move these gentlemen out to support. But this is going to be a tough gig. This is going to be a tough gig right here. I might lose the switch. I can hold some of these in place here. Then I should be okay. Make it a port. Let's get the money in from it. <coughs> we're going to need to defeat the Ottoman forces here, really. That's the only way we're going to do it. Damn, that's so 
so so close to not being under control can I move any of these out here I can indeed so what we are going to do is we're going to send three regiments uh, to here Under control here. Okay. Let's pull two more regiments out. Yep, that is going to comprise quite a nice force here of reserves. Now I've got to make sure that I get there in time. Will I get there in time? I'm not sure if I can hold them up. And I might be able to. I've got to get these gentlemen in and around the Suez here. So they will then be supporting this army here. That's going to be a, a brutal fight. Absolutely brutal. By damn. Right, let's end the turn, my friends. Let's see what happens here. We've taken, we've taken five oasis here. How would it? Oh, jeepers creepers! We may even have a little bit of few problems here with the with the local populace. <coughs> Damn, they're moving a lot of troops into these areas here, but it's bringing all of their eggs into one basket. Look at that! They're even sending them across the desert here towards us. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt big time. This is going to be a, a colossal fight, but I have to try and hold them up if I can. Oh, jeepers creepers. That is going to be a hell of... I knew they'd come for the Suez. I knew it. I've got... Oh, hello. I've got to try and hold up... We got why have we got forces here? Okay. I will move them into position to, to reinforce the Fayum here. Actually I'm gonna send them to the front lines. Now this army needs to make it to gently Easy, gentlemen, easy. Don't take any attrition, don't take any attrition. <sighs> right, I need to hold this army up somehow. Damn, drats. That didn't work. Not to worry, let's keep sending our spies out here. Can he sabotage? Not yet. We're going to be taking a quick gander here, a quick look at what they have to offer here with us. But the battle is going to be here and it's going to be a gigantic battle. I can probably get my troops there before the Ottomans arrive. I knew they'd go for the Suez. It looks like we might even get a com some company here from the... the m oh indeed, the Bedouin looks like they're sending some forces up maybe to help us. Maybe not. Can I strip any more out from anywhere else? No, and of course they are build this. Apologies, my friends, if you see a bit of an edit or a cut at this point. At this point, I had to take a phone call, so I do apologise if you do see a little bit of an edit, a little bit of a skip in here. But I have sort of cut out the space, the time where I was away. Anyway, uh, what else are we were doing here now? Right, we've just brought back a little bit of money here. So we've got money here, seven oh five. So we're actually holding our own here pretty well. It'll go down, but as long as I keep about 500 per turn coming in, we should build up a reserve and have a little bit of spare as well. But they are coming for us, my friends. They are going to be here very, very shortly. So we do need to get this, this sort of secondary army here in place as soon as possible. These regiments will be vital to the upcoming battle. 
And let's end the turn and see what happens. They're going to come for us. Jeepers creepers, they've got so many forces. That's a huge amount of forces there moving into the area here. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what the heck is going on here? No, there it is, there it is. Damn. Oh, oh, they're moving back. Come on, now, Bedouin, come on. Come and support us now, come and help us. Oh, the Bedouin have taken it back. Oh, that's a beautiful move. Look at that, they disperse into the... Oh my word, what a beautiful move that was. 407, so that's dropped down. Not It's dropped down a little bit there, but... Not not as much as we can. We can handle that. Now we need to bring these gentlemen as close as we can to the city here. A little bit of attrition, but they're okay. I want these to come, this Ottoman. If they come for us, they will feel the full wrath. Well, where are these going exactly? Oh my god, Bennett, that's a monstrous army here. Are they going to be hitting along here? If they are, then we're going to be needing a few more troops. So we're going to reinforce our front garrisons here. These gentlemen will be moved into position, but this is going to be a monstrous fight right here. Look at that, the Bedouin have taken it back. That is such a fantastic move. And obviously they've been dispersed here. They can obviously hide within the desert, the Bedouin. They are, of course, excellent. Um, excellent at disguising themselves and hiding themselves in the desert, because, of course, that's where that is their natural environment. It's a beautiful maneuver. And it's drawn these Ottoman forces away from us. But where are these going exactly? And where exactly are... Or has that Ottoman force there gone? Where have you gone? At your service. Let's have a quick look. Another mission in the shadow. We're going to see if we can hold up these forces here. Spying. What we are going to do, though, is we're going to be continuing our spying mission. Let me rest. Without further delay. Oh, actually. But this does have a fort here. So this this if I, if I could take that there as well, that'd be such a fantastic maneuver for us. But I'm not sure I can free the troops to do so. Look at that, we bring that under control, well under control here. Ben, I swear, oh, blimey, Charlie, that is a, that is a hotbed right there. Should get that up and running pretty soon. What about here? Oh, just one more turn, then we should have a little bit more income. Let's end the turn, my friends. There they are, they're moving up into position to support any frontal assault. I hope the Bedouins can attack them again. Well, well, well. <laughs> what a beautiful sight. The Bedouin have done a phenomenal job. Yes! That is a fantastic job there for us. Oh, look at that. 283. We're going to be squeezed here. 9572. Okay, that's where we've got to stop producing troops now. <coughs> I'm actually, that's where I'm going to stop producing the troops now. But we are going to move more troops into Zagazig. That's probably the one place where they would hit us. And we're also going to move
these gentlemen to Zagazig as well. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. We've stripped away as best we can here all these armies. What are they going to do? The Bedouin have done a phenomenal job. They've pulled the Ottomans all over the place and now they've taken Mazina back. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Line 373, we're building it back up again here. But we just can't stand here forever. I wonder if I can pin these into position. Not quite yet. Can we do... We're going to actually try and sabotage this army here because it actually that's a waste of our time. What we're going to try and do is get one of these sabotage down here. Try and pin them into position. It might give the Bedouin some chance to be able to sort themselves out, put some sort of coherent defense into place here. But we, if if we're not attacked soon, then we're going to have to start looking at using these troops here for an offensive. We might go on the offensive against the Ottomans. We can't fight them in the open here. This is our limit. Here is the limit of where we can go. Right down to by here. So we've got this. This is the sort of line we control. This is the line in the sand. Literally, the line in the sand is right here. Along this area here is where we can, we can sort of put up a fight or we can fight anywhere in this sort of green pastured land here we're not going to take any attrition here at all but I really would like to take Arish I really really want to take that so much oh look at that Bagara of the Four Islamic Dervish so I might if I can possibly use some troops from here and look at striking in and against some of these barely keeping control of some of these people. Look at that. Oh, seven. Now that there is going to be not bad at all. I think I could probably bring these two gentlemen. Let me have a quick look. Anything more? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So we're going to move these gentlemen um, to here. We're going to assemble a force which is going to attack Arish by road. And it's going to try and take Arish out with us still holding here at Suez. What else can we take from here? Five. I'll probably take another one out of here. I might drop it down to four. Indeed. So these are going to be moving to join here. This one here really doesn't like us at all. That, that unrest is pretty horrific. There too. Ho ho. Not there though. Let's do it with a trading port put in there. Thank you very much. Let's end the turn, my friends, and see what happens here. Gordon Bennett, they're moving another full stack army down. That is insane. That is a courageous move. Path blocked by whom? Yeah. <coughs> 
touch and go there for a little bit, my friends. Touch and go. But can we do anything to aid? Come on now, come on. Sabotage these fiends here. Yes. Come on out, Bedwin, you've got to get yourselves back in here. Apologies again, my friends. I think another phone call. That'll teach me to leave my phone on. So if you do see another cut here, it'll be because I've had to cut another piece out there, my friends. But as you can see, the Bedouin have done an absolutely brave manoeuvre here and moved out, taken out that army. We've managed to hold up, or at least try and hold up this army here we've held up here. We're going to try and sabotage this army here. But the Ottomans have taken a quite a beating here. And the Bedouin have done themselves exceptionally well here. We're going to end the turn. They're constantly reinforcing. Bedouin didn't come out of that one very well at all. There's a chance they might lose this year, but then again, they're, but they're still they're still holding on. They're still fighting, battling away. Come on! Damn, we still can't do it. Moving to a new position. I await your command. Nope. No such luck. But the Bedouin have fought with courage and with dignity, my friends. They really have. They have not allowed themselves to be defeated at all. We are going to hold strong here, but we're going to try and continue to build up our force here. Three, my god. Can we actually stretch it to the limit here? We can indeed. We're just trying to put together a, a decent sized army here. Can we strip them from anywhere else? What about here? What if we pull these gentlemen out as well? This is quite a big ask. We can. We are going to. We're putting together this force now. But this is a scratch force. It really is. What's in here? Right, probably best we find out what army's in here. Two, six, three, and once again they're probably building here. Yes, they are. I'll have the money back. Thank you very much. 
<clears throat> and again, I'm putting this force, building this force up here, but it's still not going to be enough. We cannot strip any more forces out. If, this, if I lose the Suez, they'll open up the entire flank here. This entire region here will open up to them. We don't have the forces to hold back such large armies. I'm hoping that the Bedouin will keep them pinned down here, and hopefully they can throw back here. Let's end the turn. <laughs> The Ottomans seem to have unlimited troops. Wow, they're draining everything they've got here. Come on now. Ah, oh, the Bedouin have gone. Damn. That's a, that is a shame. That's an absolute crying shame there. But they've done a lot of damage. But again, look, they can repair in the desert. Jeepers creepers, that is a heck of an army they got there. Right, we've got to try and pin, keep these pinned. Spying. Yes. Beautifully done. Your lordship. Investigate. Not quite, not quite. We've got one of them pinned down. If we can try and keep them in this area here, it might give us a little bit of a leeway. With all speed. What do you require of me? I wait upon your command. Okay, so they've increased that there. They've got now two Bagara of Defur. But if I can take these out here. Two, five, one. <sighs> can I drain any more forces from somewhere else? This is the question. Can I take two more regiments out of here? I can, and I am. Ready for order. Immediately. Harvesting supplies. Forwards. Forward. Don't be silly. <clears throat> I want you to go. Forward. Here. Good. Yes, you can take slight attrition here, in this sort of crossing here, but that's the way he has to go. That's going to be two more regiments for this army here. This army's going to head for Arish. We're going to try and dispose of the Mahdists. The Ottomans again sending the large army back down. Looks like they're trying to solidify all their forces into one position here, but ah, here they come, back to the Suez. That's fine, that's absolutely fine with me. Beautiful, beautifully done. Here it is. 279, that's more like it. Bring it in a, a little bit more. Alright, we're putting together a scratch force here. <coughs> but we should be able to take that, even with the mortars. If we can besiege this here, we should be okay. But then again, they've got quite a lot of forces down there, especially this here. This army could be into position quite quickly to remove us from here. They're not going to like us being on their doorstep, but we have to do something. And as Michael did suggest, I could just burn this place to the ground, destroy the Mardists once and for all. They would be gone, and I would burn this place. Or, I might even give it to the Bedouin. Now that would be a surprise. Wouldn't it just? I think it would. Well then, we're going to set this army on its path. Alright, let's get to They're all going through Araba there. That's an absolute monstrous amount of troops. <laughs> As I suspected.
And now our journey to Arish begins. What I need to do is try and hold down these armies here. Yes. What do you require? Watching and listening. Still no luck there with that. Oh, plus three blow. Oh yes, that's more like it. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that. What? Whoa! What a jump that is. Eleven thousand. Look at that. Two one six five. That's my apps. Oh my word! That has just absolutely given us the keys, possibly to this empire. That global trading come there is just. Oh my word! What a beautiful site that was in. That is going to give us the boost we need. Oh, we can just. We can now build an army that will defeat anything in its path. Your Majesty. Look at that army there, that is a phenomenal We've got another one moving on its way here. We've got to be very careful we don't do anything silly. Musket. Oh, that'd be nice. Minus two. But it does have a star fort, so we have to let them come out to us. Roads. Enlightenment. Minus one. Income three, two, three. Not bad, actually, there at all. We oh my gosh, I'd end this quick turn around here in turns, my friends. But I can now start building another army. A, a really, really good army here. I can put a thousand of that investment into an army because they oh my god, they're gonna come for us big time here. Oh, the Bedouin is still about. This is incredible. They rise up from nowhere. They rise up from the deserts, the Bedouin. Look at this, this is phenomenal. They are absolutely... They're taking the Ottomans apart bit by bit. This is a brilliant. How may I be of service? Investigating target. Not yet, but still. This is absolutely... Look at this. The Bedouin are appearing from just out of the deserts. They retake everything that is theirs. It is fantastic to see they've done a phenomenal job and it's given us the time we need and the space we need. Oh, look at that growth. It is beautiful to watch, absolutely beautiful to watch. edge there on an absolute knife edge oh every single one of these is bringing look at that look at the boost to income every single one of these is just going off the chart thank you very much good sir 2179. I can spend a thousand on another army here and it wouldn't even bat an eyelid. I mean, in terms of upkeep. Oh my word, that is a beautiful sight. got that leeway now but I'm going to besiege here mind you they do have a significant amount of reserves here sir sir by your leave I was hoping they might be, be taking a bit of 
attrition here, but I'm gonna have to definitely put my troops into a into a good formation here to be able to use them and my just you know. But anyway, let's end the turn here. Oh look at that. Now they decide to move troops into position here to try and support them. What are the chances of that are happening? Oh, they're moving away. The Bedouin have done a phenomenal job. Oh yes, they've done it. <sighs> yes. Let's just keep them keep them in position here. Oh my word, they're losing army after army here trying to take the Bedouin out. Trats. Libyan Kuloglu. Look at their accuracy, that is as scary as you like. Can we list the general here? sergeant we're going to need a let me go for this gentleman here mostly because of the morale which we are definitely going to need the drill school that's going to be not out just yet 2182 what a beautiful sight that is we're holding the gentleman here but do we really need them anymore here I'm not sure the Bedouins seem to be doing a fantastic job all we are going to do actually is we're going to pull back to here and we're going to transfer three of these regiments to here and then we're going to from here three more regiments there and they're going to be sent back down to here to support here. We're going to make sure we are not going to be yes. caught in the hop at all, my friends, by any of these. Whew. What a brilliant, brilliant way this has turned out. The Bedouin are a phenomenal, phenomenal people. They have just literally obliterated these Ottoman forces, even though they quadruple ten times their size and number of armies. Look at it, they've whittled them down and down and down and down to almost nothing. These forces have taken a severe beating. They don't no longer have access to this here. The Bedouin have really have done a phenomenal job here. And they keep raising forces around these here, keep keeping them pinned down. We've got them pinned down here with our agents. It's a brilliant, brilliant time because it's given us time to even move reinforcements into this army here that's going to go for Arish. But my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, please keep your comments coming. They absolutely mean the world to me because they are so fantastic in what you tell me. It helps me really focus my strategy and enables me to, you know, sort of pin down what I need to do and where I need to head for. And we're going to try and take a reach while the Ottomans are busy elsewhere. Now, with the addition of these three regiments moving in as well, it's going to give us quite a sizable force here nearly a full stack force but it should be enough to deal with these in here and also their Ottomans who are, are clearly here to help them try and hold this region what's this army like in here we're not sure yet but still we're pushing up as far as we can here um, to see what they've got I might even keep them I might just keep these here as well these gentlemen But my friends, once you've taken a reach, we're going to see what the Ottomans respond in, in that way. If we can hold it, we will. If not, we shall do as Michael has said, has suggested, and we will burn it to the ground. But it will it will destroy the Mardist once and for all. Once we've taken that, the Mardist will be no longer with us. And that means the Ottomans will be alone. And they're fighting here against the Bedouin, who really are performing with exceptional courage and discipline. But anyway, my friends, hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please comment, like, and subscribe. And always keep your comments coming down below, my friends. They mean so much and they are always brilliant to me always 
Anyway, I hope you've had a good weekend, my friends. And until next time, when I can promise you the Battle of Arish, North Sinai, will take place in one form or another. But until then, my friends, bye for now.